UMass Amherst students today continue to voice their frustration with the college and what's going on in the war between Israel and Gaza. 22 News reporter Melissa Torres joins us live from our Hampshire County Bureau in Northampton with a closer look at the People's Assembly that was held today. Students today continuing to demand that UMass cut all ties and partnerships with weapon manufacturers like Raytheon and move towards a more sustainable and de demilitarized UMass in the future. Hundreds of students, faculty and community members from UMass came together for a People's Assembly on Wednesday. We will keep us safe. We will keep us safe. Although the school's administration has not been receptive to their demands, this protest has mobilized students and other community members to stand in solidarity. I think that for UMass to truly be revolutionary, um, they have to stop limiting what student organizers are able to do on campus and start working with them to actually have a revolutionary university. Educate, agitate, organize. Through this People's Assembly, student-led organizations and worker-led unions on campus hope to create a safe space for the community to come together in solidarity. Ultimately, their goal is to create a more democratized and demilitarized UMass for all. Uh, we have a lot of workers here who are already mobilized and organizing. We just want to provide a place for them to get connected. We are creating this space where workers, students, community members from across UMass can come together and actually build a more democratic UMass. It's not really about the administration. It's not about their efforts to silence us. Um, we it's about our power, yeah. right, as people. 22 News spoke to a peace activist from Tel Aviv who was deeply moved by this display of community support by American students. I see here people with, with uh, very optimist, people who go and demonstrate, I think it's a hope. When they have struggle and demonstration is hope and I think it's, uh, it's very, very good to see people like that. Organizers telling 22 News that they will continue to host these protests and rallies throughout the week or however long it may take. For now, working for you in the Hampshire County Bureau, Melissa Torres, 22 News.